Hi everyone, welcome to my channel New Leaf Podcast. My name is Carmen and you can find me on Instagram as newleafdesigns.nl and I create knitting and crochet patterns on my website. Uh, today I have a yarn review for you about the Easy Breezy Yarn by We Are Knitters. I got a couple of skeins from them in the mail, so this is all gifted by We Are Knitters. Um, I've tried it out and I will give you my honest opinions today. Um, before I start, I do want to kind of address, well not kind of, I want to address the kind of controversy that has been surrounding We Are Knitters since I believe March last year, that was 2022, uh, when they collaborated with Zara because We Are Knitters has always presented themselves as a sustainable choice, uh, as, you know, supporting slow fashion, you know, sustainable, ethical, ecological fashion of, you know, all of the right buzzwords um and then and you know i've worked with we are knitters yarn in the past um they have this really really thick yarn called the wool i think and that was one of my first knitting projects and it was really fun um it was like 10 years ago <laughs> uh but it kind of came as a shock to i think many of their followers including myself that they would uh, collaborate with Zara because of course Zara is one of the top fast fashion companies that are not really ethical and not really sustainable so it was kind of <laughs> what you doing um, <laughs> and uh, I, I think they kind of realized that it was a mistake to collaborate with Zara um, but you know um, they reached out to me and um, I'm always interested to try out new yarns, uh, you know, especially if um, they're, they come from ethical sourced, um, ethical sources. Uh, but I did want to ask them about, you know, what happened there and do we see that happening in the future? So I sent them a reply and um, because I was just wondering about We Are Knitter's previous collaboration with Zara and um, the, the statement that they kind of made about it was that, uh, you know, they hoped to um, reach more, uh, reach a potential audience that uh, has not been crocheting or knitting uh, clothes themselves and so they might convert some fast fashion shoppers into slow fashion shoppers which you know i get and it has some kind of merit because uh of course Sarah has a huge audience um and i do think that there was some success in that uh getting fast fashion shoppers to you know try um i don't remember if there were only crochet kits or also knitting kits there, there there were some kits for i think a phone case or something way overpriced by the way but but anyway um but yeah it did not do their brand any favors um i mean for we are knitters and i asked them if we are knitters plan to work with any more kind of big fast fashion brands in the future um so yeah i had i had my stomach in a twist for about a week after i sent that email <laughs> and they replied to me and i'm going to kind of paraphrase what they said because i'm not sure if it's 100 percent legal if i quote anything um yeah but um they say uh, you know, they realize their mistakes and they really want to put it behind them and work with um, brands or creators that are more in line with their own brand values, which are slow fashion, uh, eco-friendly and 100% natural products. Um, and they are focusing on collaborating with brands with a good impact. So. Um, and I realized that, you know, basically they can, they can say that and then not do it, but, um, I kind of, I, I do believe them, but of course everyone is free to make their own, uh, make up their minds about this. Uh, but I do, you know, it's been over a year since the 
Sara collaboration and their previous collaborations has all been with creators or small brands and um, yeah they seem to be on the right path so anyway I wanted to explain a little bit about that because it's not like I'm throwing my values out of the window and just accepting any yarn I can get for free that would be horrible but I was thinking how can I incorporate this into the year of using what I have because um, yeah <laughs> this was not planned um, but I do really want to make a summer top and I have some bamboo yarn <laughs> but um, not in this color and I think this is a beautiful color so I was excited to try this out and the pattern that I've chosen is the Picnic Folks Top by Wan Chen Pua. Um, it's a free pattern and um, she's a relatively new designer and her designs look amazing uh, on Instagram she is nitty gritty underscore sg for Singapore um, and her designs just look super fun and they are they are very size inclusive so that's always a plus two uh, and I included this pattern in the pattern roundup uh, from one of my last videos uh, which is called 12 free sweater knitting patterns, something like that. Um, so, um, I have swatched this yarn. Um, I've knitted, but I've also crocheted it just because, you know, I'm going to be knitting with it, but a lot of people would crochet, I think, with this yarn because, let's actually talk about the yarn. Uh, the Easy Breezy yarn is. 51% uh, bamboo and 49% cotton and it's 224 meters per 100 grams um, and they suggest it for a 5 millimeter needle. Um, this is the color olive, it's made in Turkey. Um, I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what some of the wash symbols mean. Uh, I don't think you can machine wash it, but I will actually be machine washing my swatch. Just, you know, trying it out. Um, because usually bamboo and cotton can be thrown in a washer, but we will, uh, we will just try it out on the swatch. Um, so they recommend it for a five millimeter, oops, five millimeter needle. Uh, the pattern for the Picnic Folks top, um, so it doesn't call for this yarn exactly, but uh, a similar yarn, also 50-50 bamboo cotton and a similar weight. So I thought I might try this. Um, is that correct what I'm saying? <laughs> no, the suggested yarn for the Picnic Folks top is called um, O Folks. Oh, folks, uh, that might be a nod to the pattern name. Uh, uh, oh, folks, co cloud cotton, and it's 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. But the, the yarn weight is about the same. Um, and the pattern calls for four and a half millimeter needle. So that is what I started with in my swatch. And I have tried out two needle sizes and there's this little pearl ridge in between, you know, the two different needle sizes that I used so that I know where to measure my gauge. Um, so this part is four and a half millimeter needle. And the top part is four millimeter needle. And I've knit it in the round because the top is going to be knit in the round as well. I've cast on with Judy's Magic Cast On um, so that the edge doesn't curl over. I really like this trick for swatching in the round uh, because you can see in the cast off that it is curling over and it just gives you less space to measure. Um, I did not block this swatch, which usually I would, um, but <laughs> I didn't feel like it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but also, um, I feel like, you know, I, I measured it, this is 21 stitches to 10 centimeters, and I think this is 
23 stitches to 10 centimeters. The gauge in a pattern says 19, so that's even looser than this. And um, so I think if I were to block it, I could stretch it to be a little bit bigger uh, if necessary. Um, and I did, I learned quite a bit during this process because uh, knitting with bamboo or uh, a bamboo blend is quite new to me. Um, and while I personally prefer the tighter fabric, so with a four millimeter needle, I am going to go for the four and a half uh, millimeter uh, needle, not just because it is closer to the pattern gauge, but also I was watching some videos about, you know, just knitters, um, knitting summer tops and um, what they like about the tops that they finished and what they don't like and um, you know this is a kind of DK weight I would say um, and they like it better on larger needles because then it's lighter um, and tops that they had knit on a smaller gauge they were a bit heavier and yeah, and you would wear them less, or they would wear them less. And I could kind of see that because, you know, a tight gauge is going to be warmer than a loose gauge, right? And this summer top is going to be with short sleeves. And I, I don't want it to be at that awkward, uh, you know, that awkward warmth <laughs> where it's kind of like oh this is too warm to have short sleeves um so i think i'm gonna go with the four and a half millimeter needle and i actually think it looks quite nice i do want to mention that while i was knitting this yarn um it does kind of maybe you can see it it does kind of twist on itself which you know is not great, <laughs> and this is all. This is on. This is only at the start of a ball, so I'm not sure if it will get worse. But when I was when I took a different ball to crochet with it, it doesn't do that at all. And I'm not sure if it's because this ball is not as tightly wound or something like that, or if this is because it's crocheted. So I'm not sure about that, but um, yeah, since I will be knitting with it and I will knit up all of these, um, I will be able to test that out. But it didn't bother me as much. Um, um, it is also, I would say, kind of splitty, but um, yeah, I also don't really mind. Um, if, if I split uh, the yarn on a stitch, I will just go back and rework the stitch. I know some people can get really uh, worked up about that. But also the same thing, um, I had more issues with that while knitting than while crocheting. Um, I will also show you the crochet swatch. And for the crochet swatch, I've used two different needle sizes as well. I started out with the recommended needle size, which is five, and then I switched to um, four a millimeter. And I've only used the five millimeter for the first three rows. And I just thought it was way too loose, but I, I crochet and knit very loose, so I usually need to use a smaller needle size. So that kind of that kind of checks out. Um, and then I did the same on four millimeter, and I really like the texture here. So four millimeter uh, hook would definitely be the size crochet hook that I would use for this yarn. Um, but yes, oh, I'm so looking forward to knitting this top. Uh, so I'm going to do that on four and a half millimeter needles and I'm going to be um, knitting it during my live streams on Thursday morning. Uh, so the first of which is going to be tomorrow morning and I realize that this video might go up later than that. But uh, Thursday mornings, 9 a.m. Uh, European Central Time, I'm going to be live streaming uh, for about an hour and a half 
and so tomorrow I'm going to be casting on my top and I'm really really excited for it um, because yes I want more summer clothes in my wardrobe and I think this yarn could really help with that because I'm so used to working with wool and mohair and I love all of those fibers uh, but I also want to wear my knits in, um, in summer so really excited for this yarn um, yeah I will keep you up to date in my live streams and I will probably also uh, record a separate video once I finish the top so um, yes once again you can get the picnic folks top um, from Wan Cheng Hua uh, who is nitty gritty underscore SG on Instagram and you can find the pattern on her own website and on Ravelry um, it's free download and if you want to try out this yarn you can find we are knitters on Instagram as we are knitters and you can uh, buy yarn on their website which is weareknitters.com and again this is the yarn is gifted the opinions are my own I'm not being paid extra to create this video uh, they just sent me the yarn and I can do whatever with it um, so I hope the sincerity kind of comes across. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to be working with this yarn and I hope you will uh, follow me during the live streams. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you back in a future video. Bye-bye!